Hey guys, Hans Wormhat. So this is something that I found a couple days ago that is just extremely interesting. Look at this. Job, mechanical technician for Old Faithful, year round. Old Faithful's Disneyland. Geysers don't exist. Look at that. Why would they need a mechanical technician year round at Old Faithful? Why? Look at the job. Look, how does this not sound satanic? Zantera? That just sounds straight out of a sci-fi movie like the evil evil corporation, Zantera. Um, so here you go. I'll link this in the, in the description. It's a job overview for mechanical technician at uh, Old Faithful. Maintenance and repair on all building automa automation mechanical systems. Why should Old Faithful have automation mechanical systems? Right? Um, so you can read this stuff. Emergency. I mean, just look at how ridiculous. Okay, so I have one more. I'm going to link this in the description so you can go look at it. Um, there's one more connection that I made about uh, Old Faithful being fake. And I'm not going to post it here, but you can go You can go watch a video of Old Faithful going off. Do you know what it looks like to me? To me, it looks like they're pouring steam and then they turn it off. Like, the way that they explain that it works doesn't make any sense, and it reinforces the core theory. They want you to think that Yellowstone could explode at any moment and kill everybody. Whenever there's stories like that, it's fear-based mind control. That's not real. That's not real. Yellowstone is fake. It's just Disneyland. I mean, maybe some of the stuff is real. I don't know. But um, stuff like Old Faithful, it's Disneyland. A geyser doesn't make any sense. How how can water fill a cavern and then like boil and then shoot up and then it's going to do this rhythmically? If there was some sort of explosive process like that, there's no way that it would continue <laughs> continue going over and over and over again. It would the process of shooting water through some sort of cavern, it it would eventually break through the rock and stop, you know. It doesn't make sense for something to keep going like that. Um here's another thing, mechanics of old faithful geyser. This is very um just, you can read this. Here we go. The geyser's conduit is connected to a reservoir at a depth of at least, oh, 42. Look at that 42 coming out of nowhere. And the geyser's conduit. Do you know what a conduit is? This is what a conduit is. It's a pipe. So they basically just admit right there in your face that uh, Old Faithful just has a pipe, has pipes running in it. It's mechanical. And then, uh, so I was just reading a paper. It's just this is just one of those things. I'm gonna keep this a short video. I mean, go research these things on your on your own. Basically, the reason that my videos are here are to make you think about these things, right? So just some things, Calistoga geyser is an abandoned well, you know, they'll tell you the truth and stuff like this. These geysers aren't, it's, it's Disneyland. Um, I mean, just look at this. It's a fountain. <laughs> it's such a fountain. It's ridiculous. They look, they just throw these equations here and they're like, oh, look, we're smart. So I'm, I actually, I have a lot of experience with math, with math, all of these things, and you know, it doesn't really exist in the real world. Look, they throw you some pretty pictures, and that's supposed to prove that geysers are what they say they are. Um, even in their in their discussions and stuff, there's truths in here. I don't I don't want to read too much into this, but you'll you'll see that they they basically just say, oh, and you know, these are all just our guesses. Um, they these people probably know that it's a model, or that that it's just like a mechanical thing, and that they're just making up basically BS to model it. So just to give you a sneak peek at some other stuff that I've been looking at, like the tide doesn't really make any sense to me. So I might do a video on the tide. I'll just leave you with this really funny an animation. I feel like this should just make all of my viewers just laugh, just crack up. That, what about, what do you think about this? Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is the universe. That most people think that they actually, people think that this is actually like where they live. Just look at how ridiculous that is.
So, you know, I'm thankful that I've been awakened to the fact that we live on a flat stationary plane of some sort, because this is nonsense. And this, it's basically fear-based. Humans don't want to live on something like this. And I don't know why we, I mean, it's, we've been mind controlled to believe it. Um, so, you know, get ready. I'll maybe do a video on tides. I might do a video about my, um, I want to do a video about like basically my layers of my awakening. And because now I've just really been awakening more to like the creator aspect of these things. And I feel compelled to make videos about the creator aspect of these things just because I'm seeing a lot of the, the YouTube channels that claim to be truthers, just like bashing on the creator and on the Bible and on um, things like this. And I've been having the opposite happen to me. So um, I want to just get that out there. Thanks again for watching. Leave me a comment to give you a sneak peek on. Yeah, so I guess here's there's some other things that I've been looking at recently, too, that I think you guys would find really interesting. Um, I've been looking at tall people and really, really short people. I don't even think that they're like, I don't think it's right. Like, I, so I don't know if that just made sense to you, but people that are really, really tall and like what you would call a midget, I guess, like really, really sh short people, they, they try to tell us that really, really tall people are just regular people that are really, really tall. And they also try to tell us that midgets are regular people, but really, really short. I don't think that that's true at all. Go look at pictures of midgets. Go look at pictures of really, really tall people and tell me if you're looking at a regular human or if there's something else going on there, um, specifically the proportions. Okay, so that's it for this video. That's what I've been doing these days. I know I've been gone. Um, it's just I haven't had a lot of time to make videos. So this is the first time in a while I've had some good time to make videos. I've been just, it's been crazy, you guys. Um, I've gotten a lot of good emails from from subs, so um, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm just it feels good to make videos again, and well, I just take it a day at a time, you guys. That's that's what I've been doing. So thanks for watching.